Zygu X6100 have new firmware version 1.1.5 on the Rady Oddity website. Let's check it out. Yeah, just use Rufus to transfer the image. You just put your SD card in your PC, select the image, click start and it will do the rest for you. Then take out the SD card, put it in your radio. Okay, let's load it. So we've got the SD card here, which we are going to put in the side. Version 1.1.5, so goes in quite easily. Just a little click and it's off. And now we, we do have a power supply connected here. So let's turn it on with the SD card in. Hold it, I think, for a good... A good three or four seconds, I would say. Right, and then it will run through the process. And then we're going to go through the list. The, the main one we all want, I think, is the CWD code because 1.1.4 firmware was actually okay. So you can see it doesn't take long. How many times have we done this? So I basically loaded the firmware onto an SD card using Rufus. I'll add that in the video as well. Right, it's done. So now we want to take the firmware, the, sorry, the SD card out. Just literally a gentle push. Take that out, it's that way around. Like so. Oh yeah, I've got the handle and the side the side handles as well. Right, let's turn it on. See if we can get an antenna on here as well. I know it can be glitchy when you turn these things on. Especially after a firmware upgrade. Give that a minute. I'll do it live so you know how long it takes. There you go, it's on, and then what you do is once you've got to that point, you go to system settings, go to firmware upgrade with the MFK, select, and then click upgrade here at the bottom, just here. Push that. There it goes. And then you hit quit. Exit. So we're back on the screen. I'm just going to turn it off and give it one boot and connect the antenna and the microphone. So just hold it down, turn it off. Okay, microphone in while the radio is off because I notice it can go into TX and also uh, there you go, the antenna's connected. So let's turn it on and start going through the list. Hmm, I don't know that. So we'll just quickly check the firmware has gone up. So we'll go with system settings. And um, we'll go to system info with the MFK knob here. And we'll just select that. And there you are, version 1.1.5. There you go, version 1.1.5. So we'll just come out of that, exit. And then we'll start reading the list that I've got in front of me. So number one, fix the bug that the last character in the string of the AGC mode is half cut off in memo mode. I didn't know that. So I'm guessing it's here, AGC. Let's go into memo mode. We might have to store a memory first though. I think we just go memory edit and then click save VFO here. And then we've saved it, so let's exit. And then we'll now go to memory mode which is at the top, up here it says VM, memory, 
Okay, well, I think we can see all the characters. And then to come out, you just go VFO. Let's go down to 40 meters. Normally, you've got more activity. And then we'll go across there, like so. The one that would have been nice is if we can fine tune this last little zero, but we can't. Anyway, let's focus on the list. So, quite an important one. It's Fix CW Decoder. Let's see if they have. So, you go app. Modem and then mode we want CW so there you are CW and let's see if we get anything we need to get into CW mode as well so we're in CW mode now I can't see that's made any difference as far as I can see there's no decode we can change the speed we're in CW mode let's Right, let's try that. Let it run for a bit. Ah, that's better. So that's good. We are seeing something. Right, well, at least we're seeing something on the screen now. Look, QTH. Yeah, so I think it is working. Result. I was worried, if you can adjust the speed a bit. Until you get the right speed. Yeah. I think it works. If you want it perfect, then just play around. But hey, welcome back, CW Decode. Okay, let's exit that for now. I'll see you can... We've got CW, BPSK, RTTY. So let's come out of the app. Turn it down. So quite pleased with that. Number three is fixed bug, incorrect UTC offset time zone well, I'm not really sure where to set that so we just go menu general we'll go uh, let's go system settings time setting let's hit that yeah UTC offset so there you go you just turn the MFK England at the moment is plus one I think so we'll just hit that and exit out so yeah, looks okay. Click, I think we might have to click OK before we do that. Click OK. And then exit. So that seems okay. So built-in speaker mic gain, they sort of made sure that that matches with what it says. So we'll just go radio, is it two? That's the handheld NR, no, not that. So we'll go back one. We'll go radio settings, speaker mode, band stack PTT, money level, mic auto select, mic gain, here it is here, internal mic gain, and yeah, the handheld mic gain. So yeah, I'm not going to test that too much now, but hopefully that works better now. Next one. Fix the bug that the battery can't be fully charged. Well, it's fully charged now. I've got mine on charge and it's the little Z's gone. So I'm, I would say it's fully charged. It says fix bug that the battery won't charge when the radio is off, but I've never seen that problem. So that seems fine. Yeah, it says here about first time power up for, P, for TXing. So let's turn it off. I may, maybe it means first time after a firmware upgrade. I know that sometimes you turn it on, it can be glitchy, but I noticed that these radios, when the power is low, when the power is low, um, they can get a bit glitchy. When you see the battery goes into the red section. So let's just fire it up. It turned on fine, didn't it? There you go. My call sign, da da. 
Da 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 da. Did da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I do know some most code. But anyway. Um, right. Well. Seems to be TX in fine. I'm not going to go too crazy. But um, you've got power and out showing here. I'd say one that we could test is to see that is the um, tuner if it still uses like acts like an SWR meter here in the middle. So let's go keep the power lo low. It's on 10 now. Let's get down to nothing really. ATU on. Let's tune. Yeah, that's working good. I like that because it, it's got your little SWR meter there. So very pleased with that. The other one says that it, the, the built, the problem that the built-in handheld speakers might gain is too high. Well, we, we know we can uh, test that by using it. And then fix the problem that the gain adjustment of the built-in handheld speaker is not obvious. Well, I think it's pretty obvious now. Let's go radio and hand mic gain. There you go. And then the built-in. Now, if it says here mic select auto, let's go to the internal mic. Click it and then we use that to go built-in. We'll back out. And then we'll just give a quick whistle. No one there. We'll tune it actually. Which is good. That's a 66 foot antenna on this with a ballon, 49 to 1 ballon. But anyway, let's go. Let's just quickly check. M0FXB. <laughs> Maybe some more power. Like so. Tune. And then obviously get it into LSB. M0 FXB, yeah, seems okay. I'm not gonna go too mad. Um, so I think overall, it's a really good update. It's got rid of the things that, were, that I thought were annoying me. Can't see anything I've not read about. So yeah, thumbs up to um, Zygo for the 1.1.5 um, update well done i think we're pretty much there now with the zygu x6100 i'll just show you that list again the 73 thanks for watching my channel all the best